What's up, guys? It's uh, Chevy here. So, as you guys know, my last video I had a problem putting the 4060, I mean, the, the Corvette servo in the transmission of uh, my 97 Silverado. And um, I finally got it in. Um, did some thinking about it last night. And, um, oh, she's still hot. Did some uh, thinking about it last night. And um, called a buddy of mine who did the same swap on his uh, 07 Silverado. And I finally got it in this morning. Um, I had a little bit of problem getting the, old, the snap ring out still, but um, I finally got it out. It was just built through a bunch of dirt um, from just not being cleaned over the years. You know, of course, who cleans transmission over the years? Uh, also, um, like I said in my last video, the person that rebuilt the transmission, the old ring, the snap ring was put off, you know, way in the case somewhere. So I got it out this morning, got it out, and. Um, pulled her out and I had all my all my um my plates my new plates and everything and my seals and everything I had them soaking in some um transport overnight so I got that all put together and everything um everything went in fine um minus fighting the snap ring putting it back in I had to have a buddy come out by and help me pull the pry bar while I worked the o-ring in there but um it works good man I, I like how it shifts um it holds first gear uh, longer than it used to. It used to be like 4,500. Now it's shifting about 5,500 now, or 5,000. Um, uh, coming out down the corner, figure my house down there. Uh, I hit the corner, hit the gas, and burnt the tires up. I don't know how the hell I even did that. The truck has never done that before. It never has. Never has done that. So the only thing left now is do the Suburban. And that truck's already tuned, so that should be good. Um, the Silver Rattle isn't tuned yet. I might, uh, I might do a Black Bear tune on it. I might send it to them, have them tune it for me, or I might do the 411 swap. I've been looking at that a whole lot more on the 411 swap. Um, I watched a video for it. A guy did a full detail for it, a full detailed video about it, and um, that doesn't seem very hard. It's just more of a time-consuming thing, so to speak. So that's kind of cool. So I might have that, I might I might get that done maybe, um, depending on how I feel about it. Um, yeah, it's coming together. So um, uh, I didn't record me doing it. Um, obviously I didn't, I wanna put it in this video clip, but I didn't record it for a reason. Um, I was fighting it, you know, I was kind of mad about it from last night, so I didn't wanna really, you know, put any any content about me doing it. But what I might do, I might, um, uh, video record the Suburban. I'll do that one. Um, that one might seem a little easier. I haven't looked at it yet, but it might seem easier. So we're going to look at that one probably next weekend. I got to order, I got to order, uh, I think either one or two more vet servos. My homeboy wants to do his, uh, he wants to do his uh, Yukon and his uh, wife's Yukon. He wants to do those two. So I said, well, you know, I, I spent 25 bucks doing them. So I, I ordered the parts for them, but you're paying for labor. So my, my labor for that is going to be like, you know, 50 bucks to that only because that's my homeboy doing it. It's my homeboy and he able to get mines in. So, you know, no big deal. But anyway, um, we got that part figured out now. Um, trying to see what's going to be next for the truck. I don't know yet. I haven't decided yet. Um, uh, I know I looked up under my truck yesterday and I got a header bolt missing uh, from the collector. I got a, uh, a nut missing off that. But it's probably been like that forever, so I won't really bother really. So um, either I might do this 411 swap, or I might do a PCM tune, uh, depending on how it goes. Um, looking at headers still for it. Um, a lot of the things I say in my videos, I'm looking at. I want to make sure I'm, I'm buying what I need to buy. That's why I keep saying it over and over again. Like, oh, I'm looking at headers. I'm looking at this and this and this. I want to make sure I'm getting the right part. For what I'm, what I want out of the truck before I even order anything. Um, if you guys notice any of my video, I've never had to order this, order the same parts to function the same way. I never have. I've always ordered that one part and been done with it. Um, some guys they'll say, "Oh man, order just order everything that you need." Is and this and this. Yeah, um, I, I could do that. I can, but I don't want to. I don't want to have to keep ordering parts. Oh, that one doesn't work. Okay, send it back. Order this one. Nah, I want to make sure I have the right part. 
Um, like for example, my AD two forty four is from for the alternator. I didn't order that part nine different times. I went and did some research for it. Okay, two thousand one suburban. Okay, cool. They all fit on there. Cool. All right, fine, perfect. Got it. Went to Napa, picked it up. Done. Done deal. Um, I'm looking at ordering a NBS console. Reason being is because um, a buddy of mine has a uh, NBS Yukon, so it's a 2005 Yukon, and his has the uh, jump seat in it, like mine does in my Silverado. And what I want out of it is I want the just the, the lid that goes over the center console. I want the lid that that one has compared to this one that this one has. So I might order one of those off of eBay, They're like 25 bucks, and see if it goes in there. If it does, then I'm, I'm, I'm good, and I'll, I'll you know, roll with that. So, um, no real content for today for you guys. Sorry about that. I didn't record me doing the, um, the, um, the piston swap. I didn't record it because I was still fighting it, and I didn't fight recording, and, you know, other stuff happened, but, you know, it is what it is. But, um, what I will do is, uh, I'll do the uh, Suburban hopefully next weekend I'll do that one I'll record that one and get some clips in there some shots on that one and uh, be done with it um, what else we got going on um, that's pretty much it right now um, yeah that's pretty much it so yeah ain't she pretty yeah, somewhat I want to get the ass in a little bit lower. It still has a rake to it. Um, a buddy of mine I follow on YouTube. He has a um, front coil springs. Front coil springs. Uh, I might pick up for this truck. I might get them. Uh, I want to get. I want to get it down some more in the back, and then finish out my LED lights from the front and rear. And uh, continue working on motor stuff. I, I didn't find anything unusual on the truck under it. Um, being out there for like two hours yesterday, I didn't find anything out of place or out of order or anything. Um, everything seemed to be in good condition under there. Um, I did um, take a pressure washer to it and clean them under my chassis a little bit because um, the truck was in Vegas at my job uh, as a drywall place. Um, drywall does tend to settle under the truck and on the frame. So I had to go ahead and, um, you know, get a pressure washer and kind of just get it off with. So that's it for now. I'll catch you guys later on the next video for the, the uh, 20, I mean, the, the 04 Suburban Bet Servo Swap. Um, that should be done next weekend, hopefully, if nothing comes up, which I don't think anything will come up. And that'll be it for that. Um, yeah. So that's all for today, guys. I'll catch you guys later on the next video. Peace and be easy.